right, we are fixing to go on the elderberry search. Y'all seen us go around our property and find some plants? But it is harvest time now. Um, I did run out to one place the other day just to check on them and there were no berries. So I'm a little disappointed there. We're going to drive to the other places and look around and see if the other elderberries are there. I did not have enough time that day. So we're going to go now and do that and hopefully we'll harvest something. If we do, we'll turn the camera on and show you. Okay, as you can see, the ones that were back on this fence, there are some back here. If you look at some of these branches, you can see that there are some missing, but then there are some on there. So I'm going to get what's back here. There are some there, some missing. So there are some here. I mean, you can see this one's been ate, but those are okay. So we're going to get those and I'll work with them the best we can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get what I can, what I can reach. There's some way up there. I'm not sure if I can pull them down high enough. I mean, low enough to cut. So I'm just gonna get what I can and then we're gonna go check the rest of them. So there's an update of what I've gotten and you can see that some are pretty good but then I have some that are not that very great. So I'm fixing to hit um, the road up here. I chopped the kids off. I'm fixing to hit the road up here and see what's left up on the road um, by a section of land that we have and see what's up there. All right, as you can see here, this is the bush that I marked. I can't, it's almost been overtaken by weeds and stuff. So I had a really hard time finding it. I can't even find my string that I used to mark it because the weeds have overtaken it so much. And so I found some clusters of berries. That's where, that's the reason why I knew where it was. But then I looked real close on the berries and I don't know if this thing will focus very well but there is bugs on there yeah i don't think it's gonna focus like i want it to focus so there are no green ones oh i wish y'all could see those bugs i can't get it to focus so anyway i wish i wish i could um there's bugs on there so i feel like the bugs are getting oh i did find some purple right right there y'all can see those so i'm gonna harvest those there's so many vines on them and i do have boots on praise the lord i did put boots on and you can see those right there so i'm gonna harvest those and i'm gonna step back and just let y'all look how much the the bushes and everything have overtaken this. They've literally just almost overtaken the tree. So maybe next year, oh, here's some good ones right here. But they're all green. I feel like it's their turn in purple that the bugs are eating them. And I see bugs on these too. So I feel like it's their turn in purple that the bugs are taking on. Cause you, I mean, if you notice this one, it's all green and then there's groups that are missing I'm assuming where the purple ones will be that the bugs are eating. So maybe we can clean out some of the underbrush. There's a bug. And um, clean out some of the underbrush of this this fall. And that way it will be easier on us next spring. As you can see here, there's some right here. Now this is going to be pretty tricky getting to. I'm sure this is probably going to be pretty snaky. Um, but I hate to leave those berries. Looks like the majority of them are green. 
uh, looks like the ones that have turned purple again have been eaten off so um, I've heard the saying that elderberries are poisonous when they're not cooked but apparently that's not the case for bugs so I'm just gonna kind of walk down in here and um, take a look around and hopefully I don't see any snakes along the way and uh, just kind of see if I can get what I can get uh, and go along about my business that's the bucket that I have right now again like I said I'm getting a lot of green ones I'm gonna research if I can leave those green ones out kind of like you would a tomato and let it turn on its own so that'll be something that I do once I get back home and um, I'm gonna grab those I think that's gonna pretty much wrap me up one easy way to find out if your boot has a hole in it that is to walk in a creek oh well I guess it's all soaked up in my sock it's a little bit coming out walk in a creek and get your boots and your feet wet I'll walk down there I saw some a little piece so I literally just it's all concrete where I was walking so I literally just walked down in the creek and walked down and got some there were some clusters that were about half green and half red so I just walked down there and, and got them okay I just walked a good ways for these I know the cars are riding by thinking oh my heaven she's crazy and I've got a pretty big drop off right here but I literally hit the jackpot there are so many berries over here it is unbelievable now the problem is going to be getting to them because I'm literally I'm literally overwhelmed by bushes they're like if you look down at my shoes I mean some of them are like knee high so um where I'm stepping and what I'm stepping on is going to be a whole other problem in itself but I'm going to try to get what I can from over here and then I'm literally calling it a day I've gotten over here pretty close to these so I'm going to reach around and grab some of these. Um, these right here, I mean, those are just absolutely beautiful. I'm so glad I came across these. Um, I am having to, like, lay the stuff down on my feet, but I think it'll be well worth it in the end. I mean, y'all, absolutely beautiful as I have seen so far. Um, nothing like this at our house. So these are just absolutely beautiful. They're so full, so full of berries. So I'm so excited about this. All right, now that I'm out of the jungle, this was my final, what I walked away with. It's a bucket full. I mean, overflowing slap full. So I'm so thankful. It's a whole lot better than I expected. And with that... Well, guys, I, um... Between the rain and all the stuff that I had to do to get these berries, um, I slipped on the fence where I was recording when it started raining and ripped my hand open. I'm worried that's going to get infected. And I've cleaned the house all day and I'm really, really tired. But I did not want to leave these to sit and ruin after everything that I went through today to get them. So I've shown you my final product, but I'm going to go ahead and sit up tonight. It's already about 930, but I did not want to do these earlier either because the baby's in bed. I mean, because the baby was up, now he's in bed. And these things, as you can see, they do come all fairly easy. And um, they can be, they can make you sick if they're eaten raw. And um, so I want to make sure that I do them when he's not around. Um, so I can make sure that I've cleaned up well behind myself. There's none on the floor. And he's usually always on my leg. So um, I've waited for the baby to go to bed. And I'm going to sit up tonight. And I'll pull these berries off. Um, so what I'm going to do with them now that I have them. I'm going to uh, freeze probably most of them. I will likely dehydrate some as well. And... Um, through the course of this fall and winter, I'm gonna make elderberry syrup. 
Um, it's a very easy recipe. I will share it with you guys in the description um, for elderberry syrup. And um, we use that as immune boosting through the cold and flu season. Uh, don't touch them. Through the cold and uh, flu season so that um, we can fight off colds and stuff better. So that's the whole purpose of having all these elderberries. Um, what we're gonna do with them. Like I said, I'll share the recipe with you guys for my elderberry syrup. And um, I'll probably be sitting here for a while. And I know there's some bugs on them. I talked to y'all about that earlier. My very first batch, I got my napkin and squished some bugs. So um, I'm just gonna be sitting here until I get these done. Very happy with the harvest. Um, excited that I don't have to pay 20 pounds, uh, sorry, $20 a pound for elderberries plus shipping. So I'm very thankful for that. Um, and I think that's all, y'all. What are you doing with the stamps? I'm putting those in the compost. I'm just dropping them down in there. And that was some that I did last night from Colby's mom brought me. Um, it probably gave me a cup or two maybe, which will which will give me a few batches of elderberry syrup, not much. So um, when I knew that they were really good and ready to harvest, I decided to um, go out and harvest today. And um, so I'll be working on these for a while and we'll gear up elderberry season is here among us and I'm just glad to know that I'm getting on for free it's gonna really uh, help with expense this year because twenty dollars a pound is we talked about not cheap. last year how we were we were gonna try all our hardest to find elderberry and now look I'm just very thankful it was and once you and I'm gonna link I will also attach the video um, that we went out tying, identifying elderberries. Um, I tagged them. Uh, you could see these were big, huge flowers. So I'll tag that video as well. They're very easy to identify once you know what you're looking for. Um, so what I, I'll attach that for you guys to go back and look. Um, you know, really, the harvesting was pretty easy. Just the location was really bad. Um, what I had to do to get to them, um, you know, and making the syrup is fairly easy. And to know that these are 100% natural and organic <laughs> is well worth having. So, happy homesteading.